What's up guys, welcome to The Real Deal Airsoft. My name is Jake, one of your favorite YouTube airsoft technicians. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to change your brushes on your DC motor. If you have an AEG, you 100% should know how to do this. Brushes on a motor are just like brake pads are for a car. They're designed to wear with you. So eventually they're gonna wear out and they're gonna need to be replaced. If you start noticing that your motor is performing a little bit sluggish and it's not as good as it used to be, it's a telltale sign that your brushes are most likely worn out. The brushes are the main thing that's responsible for the electrical connection. It's a little circuit up in here. In order to change your brushes, you only need one tool. You can use a small flathead screwdriver or a tweezer. In this video, we're gonna be using the Real Deal Airsoft 28 TPA Brolic Boy High Torque Motor for an example. We're gonna be changing the brushes on this motor. A little detail about this motor, on the website, we carry basically a full rebuild kit. We have replacement silver brushes and springs, replacement CNCN belt, replacement tower and pinion. So there's no excuse. You should always be clapping cheeks on the field and your motor should always be ripping no matter what. Nice. So. Oh, wow. Did you see that in the background? The springs change. Our magnets are so strong. Take a look at the springs in the background. <laughs> Do you guys see that? <laughs> our magnets are pretty crazy. All right, so... Let's hop right into the chain. So the first thing you want to do is you want to release the tension on your spring. The way that this is set up is there's a little metal flap right here and that holds the spring and the spring holds the brush. So the first thing to do is to push up and the spring will release. I'll explain the positioning of the spring. You will not get confused. So as you can see at the bottom, there's like a little arrow, I guess you can say that and this little arrow points directly into the butt crack of the brush. You can go ahead and take your spring off. Here's the metal flap. The brush is wrapped around the metal flap. So you're gonna to wanna to take your brush, unwrap it and pull it out. You notice how the brush tail is on the left side. It only comes out of one side. Just remember that detail for when we reinstall it. Go to the other side. Again, first thing to do is to release the tension of the spring by pushing it up, in and up and it'll undo the tension. Same deal, we're gonna unwrap the brush from under that metal flap and you can pull it out. You could open up this metal flap a little bit to make it easier to feed everything in, not necessary, but when you're done installing the new brushes, push it back down. And while I got you here, I'm gonna show you one more thing you should do with your motor to absolutely boost its performance back to brand new. So when you're in the process of replacing your brushes, you can go ahead and unscrew the two screws from your end bell, which would pop your end bell off, exposing your commutator. This is where the brushes touch. So the brushes are squeezing on each, each side of your commutator and there builds up a little bit of wear. You can sand this down or polish it and get this back to a fresh copper finish, a reflective finish, getting rid of these marks. And that will significantly improve the electrical conductivity and improve the electrical current um, having better electrical contact, therefore increasing its performance. So if you're doing a motor brush change, you might as well take one more step, remove your end bell and polish off or sand off your um, commutator. And you wanna do it very gently. You don't wanna remove too much material, but you can literally take some sandpaper and just go around the commutator until it's a nice shiny finish. So maintaining your commutator as well as your brushes will bring your motor performance back to new. So we're going to go and grab our new brushes. Let's say you have a real deal motor and you ordered a pack of brush and springs. The springs are just extra. You don't need to replace them. So let's go ahead and grab our new brushes. For example, right here. Again, we're going to have the, the brush lead on the left side or the brush tail on the left side. And we're going to push this in like so. And we're going to feed it around that metal flap again. And we're going to pull it back. So it's in that metal flap. Now you're gonna take your spring and on the bottom of the spring is that little arrow. This is the position, the arrow will be on the bottom of this spring, not like this, like this. And this little arrow is going into the butt crack of the brush. So let's, uh, let's pop that arrow into that crack like so. And you'll know it's in the right position because when I apply tension this way to the spring, you want it to be over this lead. It's putting tension into the brush, pushing the brush into the commutator. So now you're gonna take your thumb 
and you're going to push the arm of the spring up and over that metal flap and now the orientation is, is this spring is pushing the brush into uh, the metal fold and we're going to push the metal fold down just a little bit just to hold everything in place and i fold the brush over go over to the other side i'm going to go a little bit faster for you guys take your replacement motor brush tail on the left side push the brush right into the motor we're going to hook around town the metal tab we're going to take our spring with the little arrow on the bottom stick the arrow into the muck rack of that brush it's a little bit of a finicky but you'll be able to do it easily this part is not difficult the arrow is pointed into the brush and we're going to now take our thumb feed the spring up and over onto the metal flap like so yeah! i like to fold the brush over push it down and i'm also going to push that metal tab back down because i raised it not necessary to do that and that right there is how you replace the brushes on your dc motor if you want to check out this motor link pinned in the description below and guys if you have any other tech questions be sure to drop it in the comments below until next time see you on the field the real deal